We built an oil lamp convection heater that can heat up a 400 square foot building for less than $5 a week. The heater can reach a temperature of up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. The heater can work on different oils which can be purchased very inexpensively at a wholesale price of $2.50 a gallon. Stay tuned because this video will show you how to make your very own heater at home to save money on electricity. The winter is just beginning and we are receiving snow once again. Here are some of the supplies we use to build the convection heater. We are using a 50 caliber ammo box to build our heater. We are removing the rubber seal which will be replaced with the heat resistant gasket instead. We are tracing out the holes which need to be cut out. Now we are cutting out all four holes for the pipes. We are cutting out a hole in the door which will be replaced with the window instead. We are using a rectangular metal pipe for the heat transfer. For the exhaust, we are using a steel gutter. We use JB Weld to join all the pieces together. This is what your heater should look like. We are giving the heater a coat of metallic paint. You can use a high heat resistant paint. As seen in the last video, we had someone make us a piece of high heat resistant oven glass which we installed over a high heat resistant gasket. We also installed a second gasket on the inside to seal the door. We are using a concrete board as a fire resistant material which we painted black and installed onto the wall. We have four two inch long screws to keep the heater at a distance from the concrete board. The heater is finished being built and the paint is dry. It's time to install the heater on the wall. The heater exhaust pipe is up on top and the fresh oxygen intake pipe is at the bottom, similar to a wood burning stove. We are using a 12 volt DC fan as a blower for the heat. We 3D printed the support for the 12 volt DC fan. The fan support is finished and they fit perfectly together. It's time to install the blower onto the heater. The fan is very efficient at circulating cold air through the hot heater. We made an oil storage container out of a stainless steel sheet that fits perfectly inside the heater. We are using dry cotton baby wipes as a fuse since they are very inexpensive and easily replaceable. We are using vegetable oil for our heater. Now it's time to start the heater. In order to have flames that are the same height throughout, you have to adjust the height of the wipe equally. After 30 minutes, the heater begins to radiate a tremendous amount of heat that can be felt from 6 feet away. The left side of the heat exchange pipe is at room temperature since it is getting a constant airflow. The right side of the heat exchange pipe is around 250 degrees Fahrenheit. The heater is heating up the air almost instantly. The hot fumes naturally rise through the exhaust and that creates suction at the bottom for fresh oxygen intake. There are no fumes in the building. The surface of the heater can reach a temperature between 400 and 500 degrees Fahrenheit. The exhaust pipes can range between 120 and 160 degrees Fahrenheit and around 250 degrees Fahrenheit on the heat exchange pipe. The exhaust is working properly by exhausting the fumes outside. The top surface of the heater can be used to warm things up or even cook things. If you've made it this far into the video, please subscribe to the channel as it helps support me make new videos just like this one.